No-till farming is gaining popularity across the state. But in the heavy clay soils of northeastern Oklahoma, many ag producers are wondering if this cropping system will work across green country. Jay Franklin switched to a no-till system 25 years ago. Well, I'm, I was an econ major, not an agronomist, so I didn't know that it wouldn't work. And all I knew is I needed to figure out a way to make a little more money back in the mid-80s when things were kind of tough. So, so I switched to no-till uh, pretty much all at once, just an overnight switch. Mm -hmm. What would your neighbors say? Well, they were a little puzzled, and some of them still are a little puzzled. I, uh, even after 25 years, I still have friends tell me it just won't work, and, and it may not, but, uh, but I haven't seen that it won't yet. Well, Chad, can you no-till in northeast Oklahoma? It's a good question, and one we actually uh, often get. Mm -hmm. uh, Probably one of the biggest challenges uh, in, in northeast Oklahoma or eastern Oklahoma is, uh, of course, the amount of rainfall uh, right. that we have annually uh, and also the transition uh, from a conventional to a, to a no-till system. Um, you know, typically, we, you hear anywhere in, in popular press three to five years right. uh, before you get a good no-till system and before your yields uh, are, are compar comparative with uh, conventional till. Uh, however, I think a lot of that has to do with management. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it takes a while to learn how to manage a, a no-till system uh, or no-till fields. Uh, so I think a lot of that goes into that. Yeah, because, because you're, you're, you're going from ripping the ground up every year to letting it kind of settle a little bit. It is. It is. One of the, one of the biggest things that, that we notice that takes a little while to build mm -hmm. uh, in, in no-till is, uh, is soil structure. Right. Uh, you know, and that is pretty well documented three to five years to get that good soil structure to, to increase infiltration, root penetration, and things like that. Now, you say good soil structure. What goes into good soil structure? Um, good soil structure uh, would be things, um, <clears throat> things like this. This is actually a, uh, uh, a clod of soil or, uh, that we dug up from about six to 12 inches in depth. Right. Uh, and you can see the, the amount of pores uh, either from previous crops, uh, say last year's corn crop right. that created this channel, uh, root channel or pore. Uh, it also could be uh, from, uh, uh, from worms, earthworms, mm -hmm. uh, some, some other soil macro uh, invertebrates or, or whatever it may be, uh, some kind of biological activity. Uh, so you, you can see all those pores in there, and of course that that uh, helps with the infiltration and root penetration, makes it easier for the roots to grow uh, at greater depths. And helps the water flow through the through the ground also. It does, it does, exactly. And you know, with the our rainfall patterns really anywhere in Oklahoma, uh, you know, they're fairly high intensity. Right. Uh, and so, yeah, anything we can do to increase the, the, or the, the amount of macro pores is, is important. How, how long has this, this land been in no-till? Uh, this, this field actually has, has uh, been in no-till approximately 25 years. 25 years. So probably, uh, no doubt, you know, one of the longest term fields in, in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, not, not, too, not too many uh, producers ha have been in no-till, you know, greater than 10 or 15 years. So. Well, that's great. Well, so, so no-till is not just something for the western part of the state. It can also be done east of I-35. It, yes, you're exactly right. I, I think there, I mean, there's areas where it may not be well suited. I mean, for, uh, for, for really shallow soils right, right. Or, or really heavy clay. Uh, it is challenging in areas, uh, and it, it's, not, it's not a silver bullet for anybody. Uh, it, it, does take, it does take a new, I guess, uh, different management skills than, than people are used to with conventional till. Uh, so there's definitely definitely new management skills right. in, involved. Well, thank you very much, Chad. Thanks for having us out. Thank you.